I'm going to read part 22, part 22 of Smiling Whiteness, the poetry of David R. Smith. Uh, sand, salt, salt, sand, crusted in sweat. Salt, sand, crusted in sweat, the thoughts swirling around me, evaporated in my art, was a big knot. I'm either in love or have art disease. I had become muscle. Mindless muscle, the seagulls fly overhead listlessly. Soon my thoughts returned and they were only my thoughts and not some else's thoughts. Ecstasy is infinite and burns its way out all of your pores. Some men seek ecstasy through muscle, others through mind. They don't know that from the top down it trickles down. The waves wash over my mind, the, the sun burns my skin. Salt sand, rocks, water, rocks, sun, grit, cover the earth, my body. It was a mistake to separate mind from body. Perhaps they misunderstood Plato. Better to separate mind, uh, soul from mind, and connect soul to body with no mind. Now my body walks and my soul soaks. If I keep working at it, I will reach the delight in the little girl's smile. A beach poem. I was intoxicated in a short time. I was intoxicated in a short time. Was it the tea? Was it the sunshine? Was it the smile on her face? Was it the curve of her waist? This poem gives expression to my feeling. Love poem. Plato's Ideal Beauty. Strange uh, among all the glamour of New York, I find you the most glamorous amongst all the beautiful people. I find you the most beautiful. Amongst all the cuisines, it is your cooking that is best amongst a throng of sexy ladies. I am only attracted to you with help from the perfume. Among all the words Big said, I want to hear yours. Amongst all the conversations, only you have something new and intriguing to say. And appreciates, who appreciates you the most? Uh -huh. Plato's ideal beauty. Mm -hmm. Your poetry is elegant, sensitive, and expressive. You are a Shahrazad of beautiful things with a treasure chest full of rubies, sapphires, diamonds, and pearls, which you pull out to share in the light. You make me wonder what other gems you are hiding. Send me the one with the autumn flower. Love poem. When I am empty and full, I am full. When I am empty and full, I am full. When I am full and empty, I am empty. When I am full and full, I am empty. When I am empty and empty, I am empty. Hmm. The author doesn't even know what it means. <laughs> How could I write that? I can't tell you what it means. <laughs> Come kiss me, come kiss me, do, did I not say you could kiss me? Kiss me square on the lips, put your body and heart into it. After our kiss, then you can take a breath of air, but you must, when you, I say, come hither, or my heart will wither. The same is true, that what you want from me, I will give to you. That which comes to me, comes out of me, so it must be... That you will soon see that once it is done, it can soon be repeated. Another love poem. Do not go away, dear one. Come sit cl down close to me. Why wander aimlessly, aimless, like a stranger? You have the mark of acquaintance. <laughs> That's a quote from Shah Ni Mato Allah. That's probably from a Sufi. He's an ad in there. Beholding is within reach, as are the kiss and embrace. I am grateful for my fortune in the course of events, such as uh, touch as a memory, John Keats. 
Let your religion be less of a theory and more of a love affair. <laughs> Chesterton, he says, let your religion be less of a theory and more of a love affair. Okay, G.K. Chesterton. There is no value in not telling you I love you. I wanted to call you, but I didn't, even though I thought of you all day. I was so lost in my love for you, I couldn't speak to you. I just wanted to think about you. You are so sweet to love. You fill me with sweetness and bliss. I feel you even in my bones like a sweet nectar. Your Greek music serenades me to sleep. I think of how sweet Turkish music grips me and fills me with a longing for exotic lands along the Bosporus. I wish for you to be mixed blood with Turkish so I can kiss those cells of your body that are Greek, then kiss those cells of your body that are Turkish. Hmm. Hmm. My love for you has your personality. <laughs> My love. For you, as your personality, it is sweet and gentle, it is poetic and sensitive, delicate, soft and tender. It is nourishing and nurturing and nourishing. It is like the poetry you write. It pulsates like a big star in the sky in my heart. It is so special that on the lane of love it is completely off the map. So it is a kiss you should be trying, so it must be, soon you will see. Once it is done, it can soon be repeated. Hmm. Hmm. Some believe in reason, some believe in thought, others believe in emotion. I believe in none of these. Uh -huh. Some cherish the past, others dream of the future. I care for neither. Hmm. Mystic poem. My lust has to go where my love is. <laughs> my lust has to go where my love is. I told my sperm they could have you. Then when I told them this, they stopped their rebellion and agreed to wait. I said I love you deeply, intellectually and spiritually. As the summer passes and I want the body of a Greek woman and want the body of a Turkish woman. And I want the body of a French woman and the body of an English woman. <laughs> love poem. What are these ducks doing here? They must be back at the beach somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. That's a love, uh, a lot of love poetry. End of part two, twenty-two. Love, love, yeah. We are reading from the poetry of David Dyer Smith. There he is in Oxford. Uh, it's not all mystical poetry. It has beach poems, it has love poems, it has Zen poems, whatever poem there was in, came about, it, there was a poem. Part, reading part 22 of Smiling Whiteness, the poetry of David R. Smith.